jet rate controller on a BBI Liberty self-contained and we're just going to run through some stuff here this is your work screen so this is what you click to if you want to actually go spread so if I want to spread right now I'm going to hit that button and it is going to start to count up and there's my rate there's my RPMs there's my spinner speed there's my roller RPMs that's how many pounds we have metered so far that's how many acres I've covered so far so that's your run screen stop spreading I'm gonna go home this button gets you to a lot of your settings this button is just a road mode and it basically basically gives you a mile per hour gauge um, this button is a fast empty so if you want to just dump some product out you would hit this button and the width the web is just going to spin really fast like you can see there that's just going to dump product out at no particular rate this right here is where you fill it so let's say that I have a thousand pounds left in there now it's going to show me on my work screen that I have a thousand pounds left in my hopper. But this button right here is going to get you a lot of where you need to be. Counters. This is where it keeps track of all of your acres and everything that you've done. Job parameters. This is where you change your application rate. This is where you wouldn't change your bed size, but you set your gate height and the density of your product. The machine, there's a lot going on in here too. Right now, I've got a simulated speed of five miles an hour and my speed source is simulated. That's how I am able to get it to spin by sitting here in the shop. So I would, if I was running, I would go from implement to, or from simulated to can. That way when I drive, it'll get the speed off of this screen. Uh, from there, implement parameters, working width, you change that based on lime or fertilizer, fast empty RPMs, and your master switch is the console, meaning that you click this button. Calibrations, pulses per volume. You can play with this if you want to calibrate. This is how you calibrate. Uh, you would put in the density and everything. So you put in the density of your product, get ready, and then you hit start and it starts to spin and you basically collect what it is spit out you hit stop enter in how many pounds you caught let's say we caught 55 but i'm not going to do that because it would change my cow factor and then it will correct itself so you basically just hit the button until you catch your desired amount so it would be spinning right now like it is it's spinning spinning you just hit this button when you want it to stop and then up here you enter in how much you caught so that's how you would calibrate um, from there there's some alarms how far off your you are on your alarm on your from your parameters and when it will alarm you so that's basically what this does this is your information page it just tells you your density your working width, and your application rate the man with the shovel is the working page, and that is how you start to spread. It's not spreading. It's not spreading key. because I don't have a speed in there. Right. Right. We we deleted that whenever we went back in here to machine uh, operation simulated speed five because I'm sitting still home spread. Uh, whoops, work, spread. Now we're spreading. Perfect. There we go. That's how you run the screen. And she's running on a BBI Liberty with the T-Jet controller.